Oh, look, Kevin's here. Yay. Yay, said no one ever. Here it is. The toilet flushing. So disrespectful. I said quiet on set and then just the loudest flushing. So loud. What's up guys? Welcome to episode 33. Uh, guess what Kevin said today? He said, yay, finally double digits. Cause he's an idiot and he doesn't know that that's not what that means. Okay, Kevin. Oh, he's so cute today. Look at him. He's so fluffy. He's so fluffy. All right, guys, we're here. It's episode 33. I didn't do an episode last week literally because I had to do laundry. <laughs> That's like the main reason I didn't do a pod podcast because I'm like, I have so much, I have so much laundry. I just have laundry mountain um, and the cats love it. They just sleep on it. Like I take the, I take the laundry out. I put it on the bed. I leave it there for so long. And the cats are like, this is great. We're going to just sleep on all of this laundry and get it so full of cat hair that she's going to have to do it again and again and again and again and again. And it never, and it never ends endless cycle. Um, so Kevin's here. He's rubbing his face, uh, on his paws and eating, trying to lick things on my set. Can you, can you not lick that? Please don't lick. Don't do that. Um, and then Sean is also here producing, but he's not actually producing. He, his way of producing is doing a, a, a jigsaw puzzle in the same room that I'm in. I'm here. So he's nearby, but I'm like, do you want to do any actual producing? He's like, absolutely not. <laughs> you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to produce this puzzle. I'm going to produce the hell out of this puzzle. Um, but can, don't lick things on my set, please. <laughs> Kevin. Um, yeah, guys. So a lot happened since uh, I've been away fighting the mountain of laundry in my room. Uh, there was the Super Bowl. We're not going to talk about it. I'm done talking about football. But, but I will say, everybody who's so whiny about the halftime show, hey, shut up. Just shut up. It was great. Dude came out on roller skates. He was on roll. Usher was on roller skates. And people are like, boo. <laughs> Don't care at all. Like the best dancing, dude, Alicia Keys with her cape that was way too long. Dude, they were dancing, they were roller skating, there were like Vegas acrobatics like everywhere, acrobatics, what are they called, acrobats, acrobats like everywhere, they like did it up right for Vegas and people are like, this is boring. <laughs> people cannot, you cannot please anyone anymore. Everybody, I like over, I was sitting there, I was so entertained by Usher doing his thing, gay up, gay up, gay up. Yeah, yeah, that's one of his songs, right? Yeah. <laughs> okay. He was doing yeah, yeah, and I was also sitting there going yeah, 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 and he was saying yeah, and I was saying yeah, and we were all like yeah, and I was like this rules, and then I got on the internet and everyone's like that was the worst shit I've ever seen. That's worth bleeping because people were like that. I'm like, what do you want? What do you want? What do you want? What do people want if that's not good enough? If Usher coming out looking better than he's ever been, like he hasn't aged, like he drinks the blood of fucking infants. Oh, I'm swearing so much. I gotta stop. I gotta bleep. And he's just like, like he hasn't, like he's a vampire coming out on roller skates going, yeah, 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 yeah. And everyone's like, absolutely not. <laughs> no way. <laughs> we yelled so loud in stereo that it scared Kevin so bad that he just like scrambled. You know, like in Looney Tunes when they run for five seconds before they actually go anywhere, like they run in place and they're like, da -da 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 -da, and then pew, that's what he just did. He just, -da -da -da, and then pew upstairs. Oh my gosh. I'm sweating so hard immediately. Cause that was so, <laughs> um, but anyway, uh, Usher is a huge uh, supporter of this podcast and listens every week. So I just want to let you know, you did a great job. And I, for one, think, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's what I think. Um, mm. So I did, I have something that's, I did the funniest thing. I did maybe the funniest thing I've ever done in my life yesterday. Um, so we, uh, <laughs> so we go over to our friend's house, right? And there's all these super fancy cars and we're like driving the cars and we're like having so much fun. And then after we get done driving the cars, we're playing guitars and we're having some drinks. We're eating chips and salsa. Like I got this bag of chips and I'm with the chips. I mean the chips and salsa. We're singing. We're doing guitar things. And Darren, who you remember from Beware the Sunday Hang episode, he's a guitar player in Von Bolt sometimes. Sometimes he is. Sometimes he's not. Um, 
he's a good friend of ours, and uh, we, he's the one that fell up the stairs when he got way too drunk here. <laughs> I, need I hate all of you equally. <laughs> oh, there he goes. <laughs> the best part is that I told him all about the podcast. Sean, I don't know if you heard about this, but like I told him all about the podcast after it uploaded, and he's like, "Yeah, I know all about the podcast." I'm like, "But you know, there's a video, right?" And he's like, "There's a video." Yeah. He had no idea, even though he's he was here for two hours with cameras pointed at him clearly, and he's he's a videographer himself. <laughs> he does that for a living. He produces and makes videos for a living, and then after two hours of having cameras pointed at him, he's like, "There, there was video." Yes, Darren, you're on no, the internet. Said, I was yeah, he was. Oh, is that was that nothing else matters on fucking ukulele? Yeah, it was. Thank you. Oh, well, yeah. He was dressed as stormtrooper. No, he didn't know that. Um, but anyway, so he's um sometimes Darren is loud, right? And sometimes he's just like angry and he wants to play this song. He's got this acoustic guitar and he's like, I want to play a song, but I need a capo. Where's the capo? And if you guys know it, can you throw me that capo so that people know what it is? It's on the guitar right there. So it's it's a clamp of sorts that goes on the strings that changes the key. Boom, caught it. This is a capo. I'm gonna hold it up to the screen. You go like, ding. You just put one. I love doing that, because that's the way, for the, for the audio listeners, I just held it up to the screen with my hand behind it, like, you know, those makeup influencers do. They're like, this is the lipstick I'm using, and then they put their hand <laughs> behind it. So dumb. So anyway, Darren's like, I need a capo, and he's just so loud. <laughs> and he says it so many times that eventually I just go, oh, here you go, and I take a chip clip, from the bag of chips and I put it on the neck, the neck of his guitar. And he looks up at me like, I'm gonna kill you. I'm gonna strangle you. <laughs> and I thought it was the funniest thing I've ever done. <laughs> me just a mouthful of chips. Here you go. Boop. He just clipped it on his guitar as he's just like, I need, that's not what I meant. It's so funny. Gosh, I love getting people like Darren angry. It's super funny to me. Um, but anyway, yep, just like Kevin says, we're in double digits, <laughs> episode 33. It's happening. Um, we had a great show at uh, Dive Bar. Von Bolt performed. We haven't performed in a while, and then we performed at Dive Bar. And uh, that's a rough joint. Um, the last time we were at Dive Bar, I saw the drunkest man I've ever seen in my whole life. This dude was next level drunk. I can't even remember if I told this story on the podcast before, but it's so funny. I have to, I have to say it again. So this, <laughs> the bar is literally called Dive Bar. Literally, it's literally called Dive Bar. There was a dude who was sitting at the bar. He's as big as a sequoia. This dude's a tree. He was so big. He was so big and tall. And he just timber. He just fell out of his stool. He got so drunk that he just like boom, like made the loudest sound. Everyone's like, <gasps> like, oh me. So like me and my friends and Charlie we were just like, oh my gosh. Like, is, is he dead? Let's help, him. Let's help this man. And we look around and zero people are phased. They're like, oh yeah, that's just Trevor. <laughs> oh yeah, Trevor does that. He just comes here and then he gets drunk and he falls over. And then eventually Trevor gets back up and then he goes back to the bar and like two hours later it happens again. <laughs> if a Trevor falls at dive bar and doesn't make a sound, <laughs> uh, do we ever have to go back again? That's the, that's the question. Um, but yeah, no, so I've been getting, uh, back into music stuff. I've been doing some music recording, um, and I've started playing the banjo. I got a banjo. I've been wanting to play the banjo for so long. So I just love that I have a banjo phase now. You know, I was like, you know, my, <laughs> you know, uh, was thinking that my career's a little stale. So let's see what kind of doors the banjo can open up for me. The classic way to rejuvenate your career. <laughs> yes. <laughs> the banjo phase. You know, what can the banjo do for me? Let's see what it can do. My only problem with the banjo is that it's like the most uncool instrument, right? Like, it's so uncool. Like, I, I can't play it in Von Bolt. I can't be up, they can't be up there like, and I'm like, <laughs> that's not going to work. So I don't know where the banjo is actually going to fit into my life, but I do um, have a need to make it cooler. So I would like um, any of my subscribers to hit me up about that. I mean, I guess any of you, but uh, I do have subscribers on Instagram and I want to let you guys know that. That was my really subtle way of <laughs> saying I have subscribers. I have subscribers on Instagram. You guys can uh, sign up and throw me a couple bucks every month to uh, support this incredibly well-planned out content that I bring you um, every week. I wonder if I could get a banjo like made out of human bones. 
Bonjo. <laughs> Don't say Bonjo. <laughs> yeah, I play the Bonjo. <laughs> Dude, that would be so cool. Can you make drumsticks out of human bones? Uh, I don't know. I mean, they'll probably break. Which makes them cooler. It would be so cool. You hold them up, you're like, these are the femurs of my dead grandfather. Anyway, here's Wipeout. <laughs> that would be so awesome. Yeah, they might be too brittle. Um, you just have to get, keep grabbing new bones as the show goes on. <laughs> like you... Like, how, how often do drumsticks break? Not very often, right? Because they're pretty... I mean, I, my, I've never broken one, so maybe I'm just not playing enough, or I'm not good. I feel like it's very rare. Probably, like, one stick a show, maybe? Maybe, if that. Yeah, we'd have to test different bones. Like, maybe the arm, like, the arm bones are too thin, but maybe, yeah, some, like, leg bones. I'm going to be good. best bones to play drums with. Thank you. Oh, my gosh, he's finally producing. This is amazing. Kevin, you've done nothing. You've done nothing this whole episode. He's Googling what bones we can use to play drums with. That's incredible. Um, but yeah, I probably, they'd probably be so brittle that you'd have to have just a pile of human bones next to you while you were drumming. Just keep grabbing them just throughout the night. There's just bone shards just flying um, everywhere. So I didn't really plan out this episode, but I did. You know how everybody has a notes app in their phone that just has the most random things ever typed into it, but then also... Grocery lists. Those are the two things that happen to your notes app. Did you find anything? I do. I, I have some suggestions. Okay. However, I don't know that they're suggestions as much as, much as like crime deterrents. <laughs> okay. It says that animal bones are better to use than human bones. Ooh, what kind of animals? It just says that, which I think what they mean is don't kill people. <laughs> <laughs> they're like, you know what the best bones are? Fake bones that you make. Not from anybody who's ever lived. Um, just don't kill people, please. Um, what about him? Are there any bones on in this cat's body that I could use to play drums with? No. Hold on, let me come here. Let me feel this thick bone. I mean, that's sturdy. It's yeah, sturdy. A single bone, though. Yeah. Ow, he's biting. He's biting me now. I don't blame him. Okay, so my notes app. I just I didn't plan out this episode, but I did put down a couple things, and this is one that you can absolutely help me with, Sean, because I genuinely do not know the answer to this. Right. Um, where does Vanilla Ice get off using the riff from Under Pressure? How does he get to do that? That's such a yes. How does he get to do that? Ding 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 ding. His was ding 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 ding. Ding, 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 completely different. Did you not see that behind the music? No, he just put one extra ding at the end. Okay, wait, 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 wait. So, under pressure is ding, 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 ding. That's under pressure, right? Yeah, but then what is the bass note in this? But then Vanilla Ice is ding, 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 What did he do? Oh, gosh, he's the worst. Um, can you look up what happened with that? Oh, he's back. Yeah. Um, but how does that happen? Like, how does Under Pressure come out? And then Vanilla Ice, what is even the song? The, um, Ice Ice Baby? Yeah, so Ice Ice Baby uses the exact same riff from Under Pressure, gets away with it. How is nobody talking about this every single day? This should be a topic at every dinner conversation. <laughs> like the audacity of that white-haired, lanky nerd hack <laughs> dun, 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 dun. you know what actually it sounds like he did something kind of interesting okay it sounds like he used it they got real mad at him and then he bought the publishing rights of under pressure for four million dollars which was cheaper than royalties on his song okay hold on let me say this again just so that people can hear it not 20 feet away from them um, so, okay. So under pressure comes out, right? That's queen. That's David. That's David Bowie, David Bowie, as uh, Avril Lavigne calls him on stage. So embarrassing. Um, uh, David, Bo David Bowie, and they sing Russia and they sing under pressure. They come up with the song, right? Great. Number one hit, probably amazing. Top of the charts. Great. Everyone loves it. Years later, Vanilla Ice, this, you know, hack is like, I'm going to come out with Ice Ice Baby. Same exact riff. They got mad at him. Of course. They sue him. Freddie Mercury is like, 
absolutely not. But is he even, he's probably dead by then. That's probably really disrespectful. So he's, okay, so he's dead. But then, okay, so they sue, who is they? Who sues uh, Vanilla Ice? Queen and Bowie. Queen and Bowie. Sue Mr. Ice, a.k.a. Mr. Van Winkle. They sue Mr. Ice, Mr. Van Winkle. Yes. Dude, his real name is Van Winkle and he didn't stick with it. Yeah. That's incredible. Isn't that that really expensive um, whiskey that people drink? Um, so they settle that case. That case is settled. Then years later, Van Winkle reveals that he paid four million dollars to purchase the publishing rights to under pressure. How did that? How did they allow that to happen? So then, so Ice, so Vanilla Ice is like, I'm gonna give you the money, but then I'm gonna buy the publishing rights to your song so I can use it, which is cheaper than royalties. Yes. How did that happen? How did they let him do that? That's so shady. But wouldn't they would wouldn't they more have wanted the royalties? I mean, That's a terrible didn't sentence. Buy it in a back alley. He bought it from Bowie and Queen. That's so funny. I can't believe they did that. They should have taken him for a, a way bigger ride and made him pay royalties forever. Um, mm. Another note I have here. It's just random thoughts. Has any other rock or pop song in history utilized the term moot point more effectively than Rick Springfield and Jesse's Girl? I'm gonna tell her that I love her, but the point is probably moot. The worst lyrics ever. Moot point is the nerdiest phrase you can ever say. No wonder she didn't want you. No wonder she didn't want you. I wanna tell her that I love her, but the point is probably moot. Hell is watching her put those eyes. Something like that. I agree with the so point is probably moot. It wasn't. Here's the deal though. This is what I don't understand about song lyrics like this. When you write a song or you write a movie, you write any, you do anything that gets released on a big stage, it goes through so many rounds of approval, right? You can't just, <laughs> any artist that thinks they can just do art and then give it to the world is an idiot. That's not how it works. You do art and then non-creative people come along, tell you to do art different, and then you say, fine, I need the money. Then they take your new art that's not as good as the original art and then put it out to the world. And then the world's like, that's some great art, hopefully. <laughs> but um, yeah, somehow, moot point, the point is probably moot. That line of lyrics made it through so many rounds of approval. And I don't understand because it's so stupid. The point is probably moot. What a dork. One time when we were living in L.A., um, there was a period of time where Rick Springfield just kept showing up everywhere that we were. We would go to the, all these concert, concerts, like all over LA, like on Sunset Boulevard and on the Strip and everything. And like every show is like, and special guest, Rick Springfield. Hey, Joe, can you believe it? Rick Springfield? It just kept happening. And after all, we're like, it's not special. We saw him last night and the night before that. Um, yeah, so that also prompted me to look up some of the worst song lyrics ever in songs. So like, you know, you have the line from the, um, who are the guys with the face paint? Blue Man Group. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> the ones everybody hates. Um... It's Insane Cloud Posse. Oh, they, they're the ones that say like, fucking magnets, how do they work? Yeah. Like that's gotta be one of the worst songs, song lyrics ever written, obviously. Yeah. Like universally, uh, like we all agree. We've, we can come together on that point. That's something that could bring the whole world together. Um, so something that Sean hates more than anything is in, where are we on time? He hates when a song rhymes the same word with the same word. Rhymes a word with the same word. Um, so like in that, uh, is it Kid Rock? Yeah. We were trying different things and we were smoking funny things. You just rhyme things with things. You just rhyme things with things. You didn't even rhyme like... C as in the ocean with like C as in I have sight. Right. It's not even like the word sounds the same, but it's spelled differently. It's literally the same word. Yeah. Smoke and funny things. And we were trying different things. I mean, reverse, but also things and things. They, they, no. Like they're, they're, also, they're also both words for when you just don't really know what you meant to talk about anyway. He, could, he might as well said stuff. <laughs> and different stuff when you're talking funny things. Even that would have been better if it yeah. didn't rhyme and he just said different words. I would have liked that better. Um, Kevin's on your puzzle, by the way. He just jumped up. Oh, never mind. He's eating. He's good. Is he eating the puzzle? 
he's doing that thing. Kevin does this thing where he, um, he'll, I've talked about this before. He scoops up a big mouthful of food and then he spits it out on the table next to him. And then he eats it <laughs> off of the, off of the table. I just eat it out of the bowl. All right. So I have an article here from West westward.com. Um, 50 worst rock pop lyrics, the complete list. I'm not going to go through all of these, but I'm just going to. How can it be 50 worst and the complete list? Yeah, only 50, but it's the, com- it's the complete list. And also it was written in 2013, so there's so much worse now. Do you hear how loud this cat eats? Yeah. He's so loud. All right, number five. Again, we're not going to go through all these, but okay. And also, I've already gone through, um, I already had that whole episode about, um, <laughs> that girl doesn't wear rabbit ground, be a bitch. I take a rip, I had one wish. That um, Summer Girls. <laughs> I actually really love that song. Ever since um, I did that episode, I actually like it more. I hated that song before. And then I, when I broke down the lyrics and I really read like every single lyric, I'm like, this is silly. And I'm on board with silly. You're going to, we're just having, like Chris Leah says, we're having a silly goose time. Um, okay. Share. Do you believe in love after love? I, can be. I mean, yeah, I can. Do you believe in life after love? I really don't think you're strong. This is stupid. Although, um, I do. Wasn't that song the first time that they used auto tune? Like they did it on accident and they're like, this rips. And then they kept it. Yeah. That's what she sounds like. Um, Steve Miller band, the Joker. I do not agree with that. I think the Joker is a great song. He's a toker. He's a smoker. He, you know what he doesn't do? He does not rhyme the same word with the same word. Uh, Oasis, do you know what I mean? I don't know that song. Do you know that song? I don't either. Um, oh. She's my cherry pie. Cool drink of water, such a sweet surprise. I mean, yeah, but isn't the whole thing just a euphemism? I don't think they're actually singing about pie. I'm not sure that this should be. Oh my gosh. This reminds me. So the thing that kids movies like to do now is they like to take songs that the parents of kids enjoy and put them in the kids songs so that when you take your little snot nosed brats to the movie theater, you have something to enjoy as well. So there's this, these movies called Sing and Sing 2. Um, and in Sing 2, I believe it's Sing 2, they use Chop Suey. You want to do, you know, that whole song. And so now my daughter, who is seven, is like obsessed with this song. She loves it. She's like, you want it to. She's like, it's so great. Except um, (laughs) I was in the car with her and it came on the radio and I'm like turning it up and she's singing along. And then it gets to the part where it's like, I don't think you trust in my. And I'm like, I don't want my seven-year-old singing about self-righteous suicide. So just as loud as I can over the radio, I'm like, self-righteous slice of pie. I cry when angels deserve some pie. Like, did you hear me, Chloe? I'm singing about pie, not... There's no death involved. Um, but I think she saw right through me. I think she just thought I was an idiot. She's like, what is mom doing? That's not, that's not the words at all. Uh, Enrique Iglesias, I can be your hero. There's nothing weird about that. I can be your hero, baby. I can kiss away the pain. Can't kiss away the pain. Um, pain meds. Well, if you were a baby, you could. You could. I guess that's true. Um, I don't know a lot of these songs. That's true. Okay, you know what? I'm going to go, I can't mess around in these, um, the 30s and the 50s, 40s, 50s. I'm going to go right to the top. Um, this is like the worst list ever. Elton John, your song is in here. That's like one of the greatest songs ever written. Dude, you can write anything you want on the internet. You can just write an article about anything. Amber, I got to tell you something. Fun. I had to put it on. That's not bad. Like, what is all- Soul Sister? I can get behind that. The the only reason I can get behind Soul Sister is because a group of guys got together and collectively said, "We're gonna name our band Train," and they stuck with it. They stuck with it. How about Choo Choo Train? That's too long. How about just Train? Okay. Um. I don't. I don't. I'm not on board with this list, and it's gone on way too long, and it's burning my thighs. So anyway, that's something for you guys to debate in the YouTube comments. Can you please uh, put some really bad song lyrics? Because I know there's there's so many of them. So uh, just put your favorites in the comments, and um, mm. and you'll play them on banjo. I will. Play, I'll learn them on my on my bone Joe. If I'm gonna get a banjo made out of bones. I'm gonna play. It's called the bone Joe. Um, sorry for this very not well planned out episode of Temperamental. It's me, your girl, your short drive podcast. I keep it short. I keep it short because you guys got a short drive in the morning. 
and I'm here. I'm here to brighten your day. Kevin's not. Kevin's not here to do anything productive or helpful in any way. He's just, he, I would like him to just sit here and look cute, but he's not even really doing that. He looks like he's, he's never showered. In fact, I don't think he has. <laughs> um, I'm going to give you a bath soon. I'm going to live stream it. It's going to be great. It's going to be payback for when you ripped open my eyelid. Subscribers only. <laughs> Kevin, Kevin bath content, and then I'm going to sell the bath water on eBay. <laughs> That's how I'm going to pay for the podcast. You're going to mail it to every non-subscriber. If you're a subscriber, you're good. You're safe from just receiving um, a, a vial of water and cat hair and soap. Also, non-subscribers send us your eggs. Yes. <laughs> It's so good. All right, guys, keeping it short today. Um, have a lovely, wonderful time. Subscribe. Do the notification bell, even though I don't even know what that does. It tells you when I have a new episode, I guess, maybe. Um, subscribe to my Instagram. Uh, listen, to, listen to the new Von Bolt album, Hallowed Be My Name, on Spotify. And, um, you know, just keep being a champion. I was hoping Kevin would chime in with something equally as inspiring, but he, um, he didn't. So. All right, that's all I got. Bye. Kevin deserves to die! die.